we load up the game in case you might want to fast forward. Sometimes it's uh, the game gets bigger, it takes longer to load. We're on an Xbox One console. Now, the last time we were fighting spiders uh, down in a little uh, area that I had made on the last video, and uh, we were uh, completing the jungle. So, we go. Here. All right. And uh, I've changed things around just quite a bit since the last time that I made the previous video. This video is going to be more of a review. It may not be as long as the other videos. So this is to be basically uh, a little bit about uh, where we're at now. Uh, so we uh, come across some iron generators. I was so glad to see those in the game because iron is something that I really hang too heavy. When I play in the realms or via some world that I've created or whatever, it seems to be that iron is key to success in a lot of those worlds. I don't know quite how this works, but... Since Iron had come on board and we opened up that island over there, uh, we have discovered a few things about the game and how the mechanics of Iron works through the game. We have uh, played around a little bit with enchanting tools and some uh, weapon and a little bit of armor. Even though it was leather, uh, we did graduate later on through a quest that we did, and it did give us this chain outfit. So we were so glad to see that, but we still held off on our enchanting at that time because uh, we were uh, low on cobblestone and uh, we were using these cobblestone generators over here to uh, generate up a little cobblestone over here. We did work up a case finally today uh, because we've been using so much uh, uh, cobblestone that uh, it took us some time to build up a little bit of stockpile on that where we wouldn't have to... Uh, beat this wall down so many times and uh, we've uh, bought a few lapis uh, generators because that we've been using this for our main source of XP for enchanting and it's been a very useful source for that we've took down our coal generators because that we have so many uh, blocks of coal now uh, that we've got enough energy here to burn and smelt quite a bit of things there so we figured that we'd best put those away for the room that we had at the time because if you remember we had the uh, little vegetable farm up on top of here that was on the roof it's, we have no roof on here now and uh, right now and we're not planning to put one on uh, just quite anytime soon yet but uh, anyway we uh, did open up a couple islands and uh, one of that was this desert island here after we got away uh, from the jungle, uh, we opened up uh, this uh, island over here, this cold uh, biome here. And uh, then we got to the warm climate and we got introduced to uh, some iron over there. And uh, then we opened up uh, this one over here. And that way we were the iron come from, but uh, I was so glad to see it. So we got the jungle, we got this this is where we're at now. We're going beyond this. We've done completed a lot of quests for this. 
And uh, this, by the way, is the area where we've moved the vegetable farming because uh, we're looking for uh, to harvest some uh, carrots here uh, soon. Uh, we've looked into that just a little bit and later in the game it's going to ask for a lot of carrots, golden carrots and things, which is just a random drop in the game uh, out of so many carrots, you know, it's one in a hundred I think that you get. Carrot may not even be that much. Uh, forget what the rates is, but uh, we did graduate to uh, melons and the melons wasn't in the jungle biome, but it was uh, the next one that we did open up. So we removed all the pumpkins that we had here as a pumpkin field and uh, we put in these uh, melon uh, uh, plants and they are very useful and produce really quite a bit. We did discover quite a bit uh, when we did change over about that and uh, we're used to playing in a realm or regular world where uh, these need hydration and uh, these stems and you play in a regular world you hit them like that you know you do it commonly when you're knocking these out you know you'll slip or something especially if you got efficiency on your actual slip and you hit one of these plants knocks it out of the ground which means you got to go get seeds you know, and uh, the plants often uh, crisscross. Like what I mean is uh, in a regular world or a realm that I play, you, you uh, the plant could grow over here, knocking the stem out. And over time, it just really is not as resourceful. But here, however, is a little bit different. You can't knock that stem out, see, unless it prompts you. Now, uh, you can be up on something like up on a high block or so and jump down and uh, knock that back into regular dirt you know and it pops the seed out that way so as long as you avoid that this what i'm about to tell you is a very good tactic just try not to jump down now we don't it don't appear that we have any horses spawning in here or no things that would knock these down like they normally do in a in a bedrock world that i play so uh, uh, I tried a new tactic here. You may want to try this. And um, what this is, is I didn't use water for hydration on these because I, I, I figured, it, you know, it's not going to come out unless I jump from the plant. So I don't need hydration. So I tried this as a trial run yesterday. It ran and they grow great. They grow just as good as the other ones. And I've had no problems with it whatsoever. So... If I was to say anything in this review, I definitely would not mess with water here because you're losing, you know, a couple rows. And you're like, what is a couple rows after all of this I've got? Well, the thing is you want to get everything you've got growing as close to where you're standing, I'm thinking, because of playing the other worlds. And that's just based off of that. But here, however, I've also discovered a little something about that, too, because I could be away from an area like them trees, however, and go over there. And whenever they harvest the ones around the, the, the main fort over there, whenever they harvest around that, when I go out there and uh, start uh, walking around, the other ones soon quickly really come in like immediately. So I don't know. There's something a little different there uh, that's going on. But however, it's, it worked out great. I'm glad I didn't have to stand in different areas for different trees to grow. It just so happened I haven't been working that way. But however, you might want to keep that in mind. That's... That's a good thing to not do. So here's what I did there. Uh, we'll get on those cocoa beans in a minute. I think that's where I left off on the last video, and we'll we'll go through and harvest some of those in this video and see if we can't uh, see how the best that's done. But here's anyway, here's the uh, next melon field idea. So you see, the, uh, I discovered something. You might want to note this too, that the melons don't appear to want to grow out here on the, on the uh, cobblestone. They just won't grow. So uh, that crop over there, my first one, I had to... Uh, put dirt and they started growing on the dirt so uh this it's kind of good however because you can kind of guide where you want the, the plants to grow and they all grow in a nice row however in the uh realms or world or whatever you know like i was saying to do that crisscrossy stuff you get them next to each other they grow backwards things just gets messy after time but here however you can kind of control that pretty good so uh i'm glad to be i ran out of seeds down here but i'm glad to be able to control that I think that pretty much covers our um, melons at this point, other than using a Silk Touch enchantment. When I got the quest, I noticed that the quest 
uh, was asking me for melons, and it wasn't accepting the whole melons I was picking up. It was accepting the slices. So I was not able to use the Silk Touch on that at all uh, at that point, at stage of the game, until the quest was fulfilled. Then I was able to switch over to the Silk Touch, which is very nice to be able to do because when you enchant something in the game, it, 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 see, it appears that it only allows you to uh, go to a level five uh, enchantment. Uh, and, uh, here you see it's level five, level three, level five. Okay, so, and beyond that, you can't get any more. You can't go to level six, you know, so um, it's pretty much done. So you've got to kind of make what I did. I mean, maybe you don't have to, but what I did is I found out if I made situational tools, enchanted tools situationally, it, it worked out great. Like the melons that we were talking about, I discovered that I should make a stone fortune five axe even though the durability was down on it and it was uh, really stressful to mend in some of those cases. Uh, the melons, however, it, it was really useful. Now the quest that asked us for tree tr uh, uh, logs. Now there's a quest that asks us for tree logs and a lot of them, and that's where we're at on this. As soon as these birch trees grows up out here, uh, hopefully on this episode, it should be real soon. We'll cut some of those down, we'll finish that quest and we'll move on to the next island. Uh, so these situational tools seem to, to work best, like this Fortune 5, because the plants take forever to grow, like the melons take a very long time to grow, and so does the trees. The Fortune appears to work like, uh, like a Fortune, uh, it would give me two logs per uh, log. So it's doubling whatever it is that you get. So, you you know, mandatory to me, it was I had to have Fortune 5, even though it tore the durability down on the tool. Now, that helped on the jungle uh, uh, log uh, quest. When I got to the, the these, these uh, birch, however, you can see we have a lot of birch because it's calling for a thousand of those. And these grow real small. And this would be the end of that quest. There's only a few more left. So I went ahead and planted the whole thing to have extra uh, birch uh, lumber here if ever needed to be in the future. Um, we did uh, get some uh, vines and discovered that over in the jungle so we can make some mossy cobblestone. We mixed up a little bit of that. So uh, back on these enchantments. So the Fortune 5 was pretty necessary for the logs, and it was pretty mandatory for the melons to get through that uh, quest. However, when I tried fortuning the uh, tree saplings, it appeared not to work for me. I wasn't seeing any different results using a fortune axe on it, it or if I would just take the trunk out and let them dissipate, you know, because in this server on cubecraft they dissipate the leaves do and you don't have to take them down you just sit around and make sure that you get your saplings so saplings is a really hard thing to get uh when you um go to the birchwood uh, biome over there they're very very hard to get and it's very hard to get started it takes a you know you don't get very many drops droplings from those so other than that uh when I got to the cocoa beans, uh, the enchanting on the cocoa beans, I had to try to uh, come up with the best on that. So uh, uh, we was talking about cocoa beans a minute ago. Well, let's go right on into the cocoa beans. I found out that if I could run an efficiency five axe on it, it the, the axe just wears out too fast per bean, and it just it, it, the, the repairing of the tool is strenuous. At that stage of the game, you don't have an anvil. You're not able to craft an anvil because iron is not on the scene at that time. And uh, uh, it isn't until you get to the birch wood where you get the iron. So, you know, at that stage, you're in the jungle. So, anyway, um, these cocoa beans are really good payers. At that, when you're there. Oh, look. Excellent. Our melons are coming up now. We'll be able to harvest some of those and illustrate that how that silk touch axe works after you have done past the quest it works very well we'll go through that with a uh, with a uh, i don't know a silk touch axe with i'm breaking three i think works great for that okay so uh, i in the last video i had these uh, spaced out one by one and i was kind of zigzagging back and forth and 
And even in the video, when we was playing through on that, I was stating that there has to be a faster way. Well, I think this is a faster way. I just made a wall with the jungle wood that it gave me anyway uh, for the quest that I had to complete. And um, the durability is really, I'll have to mend this axe twice to get through this, oh, two times to, to really get through this. So, you know, because it's a lot of numbers. And uh, this efficiency and uh, unbreaking three works out really good if you're in a hurry. You're only going to get one drop. And I used that for a long time. And then I made another enchantment, which was the Fortune 2. I played around with Fortune a little bit on the Cocoa Beans. And Fortune 2, you can see a difference. Fortune 1, however, is... I couldn't see any difference in Fortune 1. But when I got to Fortune 2, it does show an increase. So I would, instead of going for speed, because you only can go five levels, I went for a little fortune on this to slow that process down just a little bit, but uh, it does gain. And we, the tools still have to be mended twice to get through these cocoa beans. But you can see, however, if you watched that first video, how smoothly this is running. And we'll get a load of that price. Uh, and planting these is just like. The simple. So. That's way better than what I had. When I first started. Now, when I was using, I played with some efficiency here. The only drawback with efficiency that I had on these enchantments was I kept wanting to slip and knock these logs out, which you have to stop and, you know, go through a process to get that back in there. And so, at least with the regular slowed down pace, it's, uh, you're able to kind of hold that back a little bit. So we'll do a few rows of these, show what they sell for. That's how that works. last row here and we'll move on because we don't want to drag this review out in a bunch of playing so let's go on and get on with these beans and uh, you kind of get an ideal of the time it took to harvest that seen other videos about these cocoa beans. I've never seen anybody make a wall with them. They probably already got some that's better than this. But, uh, that would be one, two, two. So we got seven rows. So this is two out of seven rows. Uh oh, serving will be restarting. Now let's sell the cocoa beans. Okay, we're talking 41,000 for that time. Okay, I want to get those out of my inventory. Okay, so oh, that's how the cocoa beans work. Now let's move over to the melons. Silk touch. Now 
here I have the feeling efficiency is going to be a little good because it's just so easily to do right here. him it's a toughy get through these melons so you can see about the time I think it's be about the same time I harvest all these melons as I did with those cocoa beans those two rows so I'm going to get back up out of the road over there. Yeah, I'll definitely have to get an efficiency axe on this because this is just, after I get more and plant it down, it's going to be too long. we get this done we'll show you where we got those we've got a bunch of these banked up and we don't sell them right away because uh, there's nothing really that we need at this point of the game and uh, we're I guess we're a little bit over halfway with uh, opening up these islands and feeding what we need to do some of these quests are really long I think the birch tree was like 10 hours it really takes a long time four days for the dark oak four days so, yeah some of these quests get strenuous okay so that was about maybe the same in length of time I'm just guessing um that the cocoa beans took okay took about half the durability down on our axe and let's see how much do we get out of that we got three almost three and a half stacks okay so how much is he offer for those Four hundred and thirty-five thousand. So you can see the difference there. So um, here's our stash. And uh, I was saying earlier, the reason that I don't keep money in the in the Skyblock coins over there is because whenever you die, I've discovered it charges you according to how many coins you have and how many levels you have. So if you go out uh, doing some of those quests, like the last uh, episode on the quest that we did, we was fighting spiders. Later on, it asked us to fight some uh, cave spiders and some zombies over there and clear, and clear out the birchwood forest, and we did, did that. Now, uh, we set up a little area where we was fighting the cave spiders down here. And uh, they could get through these. So we made these little slits like that, and it worked out great. I was able to get that quest done, and we're about out of this forest. Now, however, I'd have to fix that because they could get through both of those. But I only used one. That's all I needed for that little quest. And, uh, so there we have that. Now, um, this, I'll run through a row of that, show you how kind of that works. I'm trying to work up to level 45 for an, an enchantment. Uh, the axes, uh, the stone tools appear to be work. You get, you enchant the first one at a very low level. The second enchantment you put on it is, uh, I believe it's level 20. The third is, uh, no, the third is 20. And um, the fourth is 25, 
I believe it's 25 or 50. I really don't know. But I know there's different stages that you go through. And uh, you can only go uh, up to five of those. And uh, at the last level, I'm thinking it's either 25 or 30 levels, might be 30, to get that last enchantment on uh, the fifth enchantment, the fifth level on any stone thing, tool or uh, weapon. Now, the iron doesn't work that way. The iron works totally different. The levels on it, it takes, the requirement is insanely high. Uh, that uh, really, it's um, so. Being it was a higher level, I was using these to get me through all of them enchantments over there pretty easily. And uh, uh -huh. I was using a stone axe to do that. And, uh, I, at that time, I was tearing down a lot of cobblestone. And when I went to, my axe tore up, my iron axe tore up. It wasn't at this level at the time. Uh, whenever it tore up, I'd come over to fix it. And I noticed, uh, wow, it looked like it's charging me a lot of, of iron until I played for a day or so, and then I got up a lot of iron, and I'm like, I've got to start doing something with this iron, because it's actually no good if I don't use it. So then I started uh, enchanting uh -huh. these. Now, that's took level, it takes a level 60 to enchant this next enchant. Uh -huh. Now, that level cost me 45 levels. So this one, uh, uh -huh. I'm trying to get another iron tool or something uh, enchanted up to that next level. Uh -huh. See how much we got from that run on that wall. Quite a bit. It's like I'm really getting the lapis up here. It's, give give uh, an ideal of what we got in this lapis. I'm gonna have to make a building out of lapis. It looks like because like, I don't pay anything for it hardly at all. But yeah, that's a lot of lapis. But the lapis whole leaves come to an end because the enchanting's getting really expensive and um, they're just not doing what they used to do on the stone tools. Yeah, I'll need the lapises. Okay, so now we're gonna look at the iron. Uh, when this come on board, I bought a couple generators. Get this to where it's at now. And uh, you definitely wanna use a fortune on these because these take longer to come in. So I went with a fortune five on that because I wanted to double the chances. I found out on this, there's, you can't get more than two per block. It seems like two's all you can get. And it's a random two, even with this fortune. Five. If you look down there, you can see. It's eight. Can you see there? Yeah, it does multiply. So. Okay, we got 21. Now, I've gotten up to 26 out of that. And um, I forgot to do it this time, but I didn't notice something. It seems like right after you come from an axe and you go directly to the fortune, it seems like it doesn't fortune until you get so many blocks. And what I was doing is I would just like come over around and hit that and do that right there and switch back over to that. And it seemed like it did something. I don't know. Might want to play around with that, see if you see anything. All right. Oops. So, there we have it. And uh, we was able to get an anvil and craft an anvil to stage. Uh, the anvil does not break. 
it has no durability to it, so it lasts forever. Wow. And the best things, one of the best things I like about it is it's repaired with cobblestone. So wow. great. So I'm going to fix this cobblestone tool with cobblestone. That's like really good. Um, these take iron, of course. And you got to do something with the iron anyway, so, you know, might as well use it. So these trees should be coming in any moment. What is it? 11 minutes. I was hoping we could complete that quest during this session, but it looks like our trees are too far away yet. Yeah, it's getting closer. Six minutes. Five minutes. Five. About five minutes. Five minutes away. Okay, let's see. Anything else I didn't review? Uh, you're able to. This game um, seems to be on an older format, not 116, maybe. Maybe it is 116. I really don't know. You're able to. I know it's not 117 because you're able to craft mossy cobblestone with vines. In version 17, 117, uh, you have to use moss for that. So we started crafting some of those. Uh, here you don't smelt to get smooth stone, and you can't appear. It appears to me you can't get full smooth stone blocks. It only gives you slabs of smooth stone, and you just craft it. You don't need a, to, to uh, use an oven for that at all. Um, dirt, dirt. I discovered dirt's very cheap. I bought all this dirt for a couple hundred thousand, if that, you know. And uh, it takes longer to to beat down these cobblestones and, 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 and even if you cut them in half and, and, and use them out there than it does to just go out there and uh, harvest up some of them cocoa beans and just come right here and buy dirt. It's just way faster to do it that way uh, for a building block. All right. Um, let's uh, take a look at some of these islands real quick to give you an idea of how that looks. This is the uh, sand comes into the game and it's kind of made like a desert temple it's kind of cool it took me a while to get this building under control it was ate up pretty bad and uh, yeah so Sand is expensive to buy when you buy it. I had to buy sand, and I'm still buying some sand. I just didn't complete it to complete a quest. And you have to get some gravel to get flint in the game. And you only get one flint per gravel. So uh, when you do that quest, it's going to require flint to make, like, the arrows, for instance. So you're going to, it's going to take quite a bit of gravel. So, uh, you know, that's a quest I, I wish that I would have done later in the game where I was more established as far as... Uh, Point-wise, I, I could have uh, had more coins later in game. It would have been easier to do that. That's when I decided to hold off on doing the sand. I'll wait. So, um, I kind of knocked a few walls out in here. See that? Whoops, that guy was up there. There was a spawner in there. And uh, it stops about here. But I didn't see anything down here. In the bottom. And uh, pretty much about it. Wasn't much here. Just that. It's a little tricky to. Pretty eat up. That's where zombies come in. No, no witches come in there. Uh, witches aren't till later in the game. See where these trees are at. Fourteen minutes on those trees. So those trees will come up right after these trees. These trees should be coming in any yes, any minute, in the next minute. In fact, uh, let's just get ready for that. Okay, so we will get those in on this episode. This review show you how that fortune axe works that we was talking about earlier. That uh, fortune five. 
Definitely done. And we'll be able to com complete this quest. Huh? If anybody's wanting to know about the time of those melons, it takes a couple hours. I did notice something. Seems like you can leave the server, and sometimes this stuff just grows when you're gone. So you might might want to take note of that. Yeah, this is due to come in. Thirty-two seconds. Oh, it's about to pop up in a second. I'm going to get out of his way give his room to stretch. Hopefully we get a, a bigger one. None of them's growing real big. I don't know the secret to that. But. Yeah, we won't need much here. It'd be done in just, just, just a quick second. Oh, there we go. There they are right in front of our face. So here we go. Oh, yes, great. I'm glad to see them all come up. That would, it was really took time, and I'm sure there's some others to come on. So let's go ahead and complete this quest. See how that multiplies? So you definitely have to have a fortune five on this. Now we'll just let that dissipate, being we're not so hungry for saplings. And uh, let's knock this one out of the way, so I don't interfere with that one. Okay. We're getting there. There it is. There it is. Now, here's what I was talking about earlier. See how them uh, just appear to drop there? It's really nice. Mm hmm. They dissipate. They dissipate all by themselves. I'm just going to clean these out of this area because I really don't need them here in this area. Second. It will take some minute. So that'll give us an illustration of all them saplings does now. It's really good news. This will paint all by themselves. Let the mother two grow in for sure. And we'll complete that quest. I wish those were so easy to get in early game. Wow. Those were very hard to get, those saplings. Okay. There it is. I'm going to save all these saplings in case I have to come back later in game and grow a bunch of these. I don't know if the last one or not. Okay. Here we 
go. this review out less as I can. All right, that looks good. Oh, these grown up for us. Boy, we're really getting the wood in here. So. All right, that's good. Care if it even drops any more saplings, it's fine. Get them ready for the next trees. This next biome, if I haven't figured out, it's going to ask us for harvest some of those. So let's just go in with what we have. Boy, this come in really fast. We'll get to that level quickly. Nice, thank you. Uh, thank you. Alrighty, let's get this. Let's get this review done. So we can get back playing normal game. And, uh, unlock that quest. Oh, I get a savanna after this. It wants me to summon and kill an iron golem. Seriously? Okay, so that's pretty much where we're at this point I think you've covered pretty much everything our trees are all coming up so we'll kill out the review at this moment and uh, we'll come back in with some live streaming on maybe we'll kill the golem thanks for tuning in we'll see you the next time